Ho once again, and we're going to have a game of Fire and Forget 2 Death Convoy for the Commodore 64. Um, so what we've got to do is put some credits in. Well, I didn't want two, but okay, that's good enough. So I have done a test run of this. It's just a little bit of multi-load, not much. Um, strangely, it was not a first um, Fire and Forget forget for the Commodore 64. Anyways, don't talk about that. Right, so what we've got to do is... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have never played this game in my life, so... Ah, oh, fuck, as I die. Um, yeah, I've not played this game before. Um, played the first one on the Amiga and the Amstrad CPC just a little while ago. That was the first time I played them. And I thought I'll give the second one a go. I thought, give it a go for the Commodore 64 first, because I'm going to re review it for the Amiga and the Amstrad too. Um, yeah, so far, hmm, it's not bad. Not bad. Um, I like the way you can take off and fly along or drive along if you want. Um, I have to say, already, it's better than the first one. Unfortunately, there was not a first one for the Commodore 64. Don't know why it was never released, but what I've heard... Well, it's not what I heard. <laughs> I told a lie there, so I fucking died. I deserve that, because I was talking shit. <laughs> um, right, so we get another life. Don't know why, I don't know why it flickers. Maybe that's an emulation fault, I don't know, but... So far it's not bad, so I think you've got to stop a nuclear bomb going off, I think, in this game. Because um, I remember Zypho doing a review on this on the Amstrad. He done a bloody good review, he always does. Um, maybe I should be talking about that on the Amstrad version, not the Commodore 64 version, because you probably won't know who he is on the Commodore 64, because he's a big Amstrad fan, and so he should be. But I ain't got nothing against the Commodore 64, because I always, I also used to own one, and I fucking die straight away. Um, so, yeah, well, the Amstrad is a good computer, as well as the Commodore 64. Right. So it looks like we've got to enter our name in the stupid fucking arcade style and just ignore that going off, it's my phone. So, I honestly don't know why people do this shit. I really don't know why they thought, I know, let's enter it in an arcade style that everybody loves. When I fucking don't. And probably a lot of people don't. It's a keyboard. Type on the keyboard. It's easier. Right, I'm going to end this review now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. And goodbye.